Commander calling today the heaviest day of fighting for troops since the ground operations in Gaza began. Civilian casualties continue to grow. And so does the pain of families of Israeli hostages still in the grips of Hamas. Natalie Brand has the details. The Israeli military is moving deeper into southern Gaza Tuesday, striking targets in and around the city of Khan Yunus, considered a Hamas stronghold. Every zone has a color which is based on intelligence. Israeli defense forces say they are trying to mitigate harm to civilians. And try and make movements and ask for people to move in order to minimize harm to these civilians. But many Palestinians say they have no place to go, no supplies, and constantly fear bombardment. We are living between life and death, this mother cries. We may die at any moment. The U.S. plans to help create a field hospital inside the Gaza Strip for wounded civilians. The White House says it remains focused on surging humanitarian assistance while also supporting Israel and bringing the remaining hostages home. Every minute that goes by, their chances to keep on being alive are decreasing. Some of the families of hostages held by Hamas return to Capitol Hill Tuesday. They say their hearts break every day. Just this past week, we, um, we got horrible news as it dribbled in that four different people were dead that we hoped were still alive in Gaza. Families are pleading that the Red Cross be allowed to visit some 130 hostages still believed to be in captivity. Also today, President Biden said Hamas's refusal to release the remaining young women broke the pause in fighting. The president said all hostages must be released immediately. He also called on international leaders and organizations to forcefully condemn sexual violence perpetrated by Hamas militants.